Hey guys, this is Otaku Gamer, and welcome to my very first Let's Play, The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Oh man, I am I'm so excited to get started on this. I've I've been watching Let's Plays for almost a year now, and lately I've been getting the urge to try a few of my own. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so I fully expect the first couple episodes to be absolutely horrible. But just bear with me as I get my bearings and get a little more practice in. And before long, I'm sure I'll be doing just fine and we'll all have a good time. So without any further waiting, let's get started. Alright, so that's my practice file. Just ignore that for a little bit. Normally I just go with Link because I'm not very creative, but... Since this is a let's play, we're going to do things a little differently than normal. Not much differently, but, you know. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil is descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. I gotta say, this sequence always impresses me, and frankly, I don't know anyone that it wouldn't impress. This, I, I could be wrong, this was either... It, it could have been the first 3D game. I don't remember which was first on... Nintendo, it might have been uh, Super Mario 64, but this was still a really early 3D game, so no one had ever seen something like this before, and it's it's still amazing to this day. Oh, look at that dinosaur on the tree. I, I think he's supposed to be asleep. That that why is why are his eyes open? Um, anyway, hello, Otaku! Wake up! The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you! Otaku, get up! Yeah, he's supposed to be asleep, what the hell? Hey, come on! Yeah, I know, right, Navi? Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? You finally woke up! I'm Navi the Fairy! The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on! Nice to meet you! I wish it was 
I could say the same, but sorry, Navi, I don't like you. <laughs> the Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now! Alright, well, this, this is the start of the game. This is our house. You cannot control the camera while in most buildings, and that always pissed me off as a kid. I don't know about anyone else, but it pissed me off that I couldn't control the camera in buildings. Anyway, there's nothing to do in here, so let's leave. Kokiri Forest. Oh, hey, look, it's our girlfriend. And she's waving to us and smiling. Oh, look at that. Let's go say hi. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Otaku! Wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! Now you're a true Kokiri, Otaku! Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree! I'll wait for you here! Get going! Go see the Great Deku Tree! Okay, if you say so. First, I'm gonna go look at this dinosaur. Cause I like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are cool. Ah. Hang on. Now this is interesting because the only thing I can think of that that dinosaur represents is found in the second dungeon of the game. And it's not found in the forest. I don't know who made this scratching or what, but it really doesn't belong here. And even if it is those dinosaurs, they're not that tall. They're about the size of you, so... I don't know. Any anyway, let's get going. So the Deku Tree is over this way. Who's this? Can, can we go around him? Can we... No, he seems he seems to be blocking our path. Okay. I guess we'll have to speak to him. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. Well, that's... that's rude. What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Yeah, man, believe it. Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and a shield ready? What? You're right, I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh. Well, that guy's a jerk. Whatever. Let's, let's, let's go do what he wants, I guess. Go get a sword and shield. Alright, so, this is a widely known thing, but it's also kind of a debate whether or not rolling is faster. I don't know for sure. I like to think the adult rolling is faster, but Kid Link, no. I don't think it's faster when you're a kid. Also, I'm sorry if I just spoiled half the game to you guys who haven't played this before, you, you do grow up in this game. Um, and if you haven't played it, go out and get it if you can. Uh, you'll probably have a hard time finding the original Nintendo or even the GameCube version, but they did remake it on the 3DS like a year and a half ago, and that version is fantastic. So go get it if you have a 3DS and haven't played this game, or even if you have played this game, just go get it for nostalgia purposes. Anyway, I'm going to open this chest. And we have the sword! Why anyone put the sword out here in the middle of the forest where no one would be able to find it, I don't know. But, regardless, we have our sword. Which I guess means we have to equip it. Okay, problem solved. Be careful around here, avoid the boulder. 
Uh, I don't know about anyone else, but I feel kind of like Indiana Jones whenever I get to this part. You know, a giant rolling boulder of death trying to kill you. It makes me wonder, what would Link look like with a fedora? I think that'd be pretty cool. But it'd have to be a green fedora, which might not look very good. Anyway. Uh, the sword can do a lot of things. Like cutting grass. It can also cut signs. Oh wow. I didn't expect I didn't expect that sign to give you rupees. I didn't even know signs could give you rupees. That's kinda cool. Um, anyway, so now that we have the sword, the next thing is to get the shield. But first, we got to make a little money, because we actually have to pay for the shield. So first thing you want to do is come into this house and start robbing this person. I mean, opening their chests. He's not here right now, so I guess it's all right. And he sure has a lot of money, so. But I don't know. I do feel kind of bad, because other than these two pots in the corners, that's really all this guy owns, and we just stole it all. Huh. Oh well, I'm sure I'll be fine. So you saw that we could get rupees from grass and signs. We can also get rupees by running through tall grass. And occasionally, on a very rare occasion, you might run into a Pikachu in tall grass. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This is not Pokemon. Oh man, they should do a Zelda Pokemon crossover. That would be... No, it'd probably be stupid. But anyway. Uh, hello there. Um, okay, I was just going to ignore you, but you're kind of forcing me to talk to you. That's kind of weird. Are you that desperate for friends that you have to force everyone who passes by to talk to you? Hmm. Yeah, essentially this is just a tutorial that teaches you that if you Z-target a person, you can talk to them from far away. I really don't think this is used anywhere else in the game. I could be wrong, but I don't remember it ever really being necessary. Anyway, come in here and here's the shop. Come back here, and there's five rupees. I didn't actually know about that until recently. That's actually kind of cool, because... Then you don't have to collect as much outside. So you talk to the shopkeeper, and you go over, and you buy the shield. Shield's actually a pretty useful item. I'll get more into how to use it when we actually need it. But for now, I'm going to say no. You're alright there, dude. You, you seem to be having a hard time standing above the counter. You can take this stump and stand on it. How about how about that? Will that work? Whatever, good luck to you. I, I guess we'll move on. Alright, so now that we have the sword and sh Oh, first we gotta equip the shield, duh. Yeah, ignore the um the graphical glitches. <laughs> yes, this this is the emulator version, this is not the original. Uh if you try getting a N64 these days. And just the cartridge alone is like a hundred bucks. I've looked, uh, but I do. Uh, I did own the game for well over a decade when I was a kid, and I own the remake on the 3DS. So I don't feel so bad running an emulator to play this. Anyway, we have our stuff. Let's talk to them. If you want to see the great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. We we did. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the cookery sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Dude, what's, what's up with your hand, dude? Are you... I mean, it looks like he's trying to hold up his hand to stop us, or maybe talk to the hand or something, but really it just looks like a fist. You don't actually have fingers, do you? Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. 
problem. Maybe maybe it's because I actually have full-length fingers. Did, did you think about that? You're just kind of a weirdo with a deformed hand. Anyway, let's keep going. Get our sword out. Come on, there we go. These guys are called Dikubabas. At least, I think so. I'm not 100% on really any of the enemy's names, but I know quite a few, I think. And I think these guys are called Dikubabas. Anyway, anytime you kill them, well, most times you kill them, they'll give you a Diku stick. Usually when they're facing upright, like this, you slice them, and they turn into a Diku stick. There are other, there's another version of Diku Baba that I'll talk about after this cutscene. <laughs> Great Deku Tree, I'm back! O oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Otaku, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades, to, pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Um, is this tree British or Old English or something? I never actually noticed that as a kid. Maybe, I don't know, I didn't pay too much attention to the dialogue. Anyway. Otaku, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Alright, what do we what do we gotta do? Give you a magic potion or something? Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. L -l let's do it. And then enter, brave Otaku. And thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Otaku. And Otaku, when Navi speaks, Use up C to listen well to her words of wisdom. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll be doing that, Deku Tree. I, I think I'm just going to ignore her, because she never has any good advice. Um, before we go inside, I'm just going to uh, take this moment to say uh, what I plan to do with this LP. Uh, this is going to be a 100% run. I've 100 percent the game multiple times before, so I know pretty much what I'm doing. I'm sure I'm going to miss a few things, I'll miss a few heart pieces, and I'll definitely miss a few gold sculptulas. I don't know anyone who's memorized where all those little guys are. But at the end of the LP, towards the end, before the final boss, I'm going to take a couple episodes and just round up anything I'm missing. That's the beauty of a Zelda game. There's really nothing that you can miss permanently. So, I will be collecting everything before the end, and... Yeah, that's about it. Alright, so... Let's get started with the Great Deku Tree. It's a little weird that he's asking us to go inside him. Is that weird? I think you're weird. Huh. Anyway, let's go inside. Inside the Deku Tree. So here we have our first dungeon. It's kind of a small dungeon. You can usually finish it in about a half an hour, 45 minutes at the most. So we're going to get started. And these guys are the other type of Digu Baba. Instead of just standing up straight and spinning around, they'll actually lunge at you. But they're pretty easy to beat. You wait for them to lunge, and you do a jump attack. Now, if you kill them while they're stunned like that, standing up, they'll give you a Deku stick. But... Wait for it. Three jump attack. He should have died by now. What the hell? Okay, why aren't, why aren't you dying? You should, you should be dead by now. What the hell? There we go. Okay. If you kill him any other way, at any other time than when he's standing straight up, you get a Deku Nut. These are, in my opinion, possibly the most useless item in the game. I, In all my playthroughs, I have never once used them. They essentially work like a flash bomb and stun enemies, but really it's, it's too easy to just dodge enemies. There's 
really no purpose to using them. We'll just clear out the floor down here. Another useless Deku nut. In fact, I prefer a Deku stick. Thank you. Alright, now that we've cleared out the bottom floor here, uh, we're actually out of time. So, in the next part, we're going to continue exploring this dungeon. So, I'll see you next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. See you later.